Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, we've used Auto Hotkey several times on this channel, and well, today is no exception. In fact, we're going to be looking at one feature called Hot Streaks, which is something that I have actually been using quite a lot recently. Simply put, Hot Streaks is when you actually type in something on your keyboard, Auto Hotkey sort of intercepts it, and replaces it with something else. I realize I'm not selling this very well, but if you set up a script that makes use of hot strings to your advantage, you can actually simplify and speed up some of the things you do. For example, and this is the most trivial example, if there are certain strings of text that you type very often, you know, like this, what you can do is you can actually set up a hot string for it, so that all you have to do is to type a few simple characters. In my case, I'm using slashes so that auto hotkey doesn't get confused with, you know, normal typing. But yeah, all I have to do is to type my simple string, and that will replace it with the entire thing I normally write. Another thing you could do is to actually use it to help you type out some Unicode symbols you use a lot. Here are some that I use, for example, arrows, that's very useful, as well as with certain mathematical symbols. Sure, you could memorize the alt code for it, but I think this is more intuitive. The start of my script looks something like this. Here, I have some options that basically tell Auto Hotkey to pass my hot strings exactly as I've written them. The actual hot string implementation is down here. For most hot strings, just enter two colons, enter the original string, and what to replace it with. You can insert options between the first two colons, and there's a full list of what you can use in the documentation. In this case, I use the C option, which means case sensitive. The reason why I use it here is that I wanted to see a capital theta if I typed in the word with a capital T. Of course, up to this point, these are just simple string substitutions, but above and beyond that, what you can also do is you can make it execute a chunk of auto hotkey code. What this means is you can actually, by typing a short string, allow some logic to run and basically, you know, let it do whatever you need it to do. So yeah, hot strings are extremely useful, you know, even if all you use it for is simple text substitution. I mean, all the simple stuff saved me a lot of time. So definitely worth looking at if you don't already have auto hotkey on your computer, you will find a download link in the video description. Get it and start setting things up to simplify your life. That's all there is for this episode. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in a playlist of all the other episodes of Friday Minis. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.